What's up, Truth Hurts? And we know it does. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. So today I want to talk about micro cities because we have one here. I live in Colorado and I stumbled across one that really just shows the layout um, of how they're going to do it. But, you know, everything that's old is new again. And, and this is Babylon Revisited. And Nimrod revisited. He wanted everyone into the city, into Babylon. And the extra biblical books, I'm not even sure which one, of Jash or Jubilee or whatever, uh, actually talked about how they didn't want people out in nature back then while Nimrod was in control. Because, I mean, when we're in nature, we're our DNA is activated because we're connected to it all. And... It's systems upon systems, and we're part of the system, okay? So, they don't want that, because it makes us, it gives us power, and uh, they just want us in the city, all freaked out, all confined, all disconnected. I mean, even the New Agers agree on this one. So, they're bringing us back into the cities, and uh, they're making their move now. The big move. I mean, they've always had us into these kind of the San Francisco, New York cities, but they've let us be in nature. But Nimrod, this guy, right? His birthday is uh, December 25th. This is who we celebrate. We don't celebrate Jesus, right? Uh, biblically and uh, with the, you know, scholars or whatever, they actually think he was born on 9-11, which would make total sense that George Bush Sr. would come out on 9-11 to announce the new world order, which is the one world government. All right, let's go, George. The opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be. Yo, dude's straight up scary. When you look back now, and you listen to them, and you know that, you know, the Gulf Wars and all that. Yo, this is the scariest part right here, too. When we are successful, and we will be. Um, freak show. We have a real chance at this new world order. An order in which a credible United Nations... All you really need to know about the United Nations is that coming from one of their spokespeople, no one will enter the New World Order until they take the blah, 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 Luciferian initiation. 10 years to the date, his goofy son on 9-11-2001 would pull the trigger on the whole operation and move it forward. There you got your uh, Babylon depicted, Babylon depicted, and the EU... Right? This, this is their flag. Babylon. I mean, they're telling us. They're telling us. That's why it's like, it's, it's almost shameful that people, I mean, I understand. They want to sleep at night. You know, that's how it is. But they can't even make a single star here not be Baphomet, you know? They have to turn, the star upside is, is a star of man. The star upside down, which, which is Satanism. Turn it upside down. But you see it's Baphomet. You see it's Baphomet on their flag. Okay? And then their, uh, their EU parliament building. No, that, it's not trying to look like that, right? And so they're, they're kind of teasing us now with their, their micro city. And this will probably be for the elite. Kind of like Elysium, the movie. But they're claiming they're going to build this thing like 100 miles long. With mirrors on both sides in Saudi Arabia and like everything you'll ever need is inside it you know it's be uh, Amazon with uh, drones flying around just delivering crap and uh, but that that'll be for the elite the new world order Babylonian plan for like the average homie is what I'm getting to like the middle class but they will be allowing a certain lower class to live Chinese style, right? Where it's just a living hell. 
from the ground floor to the top floor, like this. So here's the, the, the micro city that I found south of Denver. Okay, um, it's all based around this Charles Schwab Center, where I guess most people will work in some capacity or another. All money earned will be invested in there. And they had their the flame, right, of knowledge out there, out front, of illumination. That's what that means. Because that thing is an ugly piece of art. Nothing special about it. But this is their religion, right? They believe that through knowledge, the original freaking thing, through the apple, through knowledge, that you too can be like a god. That's their whole thing. All right, but uh, I know better, okay? So you're going to live here. You're going to work there. You're going to live here. Here's your little micro city apartment right across the street. You'll have like a bicycle. There won't be cars. There'll be like a bus route that goes around and around this little circle. It's actually going to have everything you need in it. There'll be a little park in the middle, a little place for your kids to play. If, if like, whatever kids are actually like capable of being born in this situation but you'll work at charles schwab right there you'll live across the street you'll just kind of you'll just walk over to work right but when you're not at work you'll be jacked in and uh that's the whole whole point of the whole thing is uh they just want us out of nature they want us in virtual reality in the metaverse you're going to be in the metaverse, you know, Elon Musk, whatever, the neural link, they're going to be able to tap you directly in. They're going to be, it's going to be the very, very end game is people watching porn and having like a device just causing orgasms in them. And they showed us here on Black Mirror. So here we go. We got the old friends. They're playing video games. Old school, right? Wife's not into it. They goof around. Dude's like humping the other dude. Fast forward to the future where now they have the technology, the Neuralink. He puts it on because his buddy wants him to play the video game. Everything's normal. They're just having a fight except one's a female, right? Everything's normal. Fight, fight. He can feel it now. He can feel it. And, uh, you know, one thing leads to another. Of course, and it's... It's not long before it stops being fighting and they're, they're like making out and stuff, all right? So it gets weird and the one dude kind of freaks out. Oh boy, he wakes up, he's all ashamed. He's not into his wife anymore. The other dude's like, come on, man, let's play. He's like, I don't want to. So they decide to just do it once a month, right? They're just gonna keep it under control and uh, they live happily ever after in this effing virtual reality metaverse freaking anti-nature satanic garbage. Also, I saw this, uh, this uh, movie or whatever, but they called it a documentary. And um, it shows how the metaverse is. And um, it's like... They even call the people out. Like, you're there in your avatar, and they've got this shy guy who meets this, like, girl. But who knows who they are in physical reality? They meet in the metaverse, okay? And then, like, they strike up a relationship, and this is how it is. Being completely honest, it's because of her. I didn't feel like I had enough anxiety to keep me silent and a lot if not all of that is because of her she gave me lots and lots of confidence and she made me feel comfortable in my own skin uh it's not your skin dude it's vr um not just as toaster but as me uh it's not you it's this character tester i it's not her either I've never been so sure of a decision in my life. I'm very, very glad that I... You made a decision about a cartoon. Uh, uh, congratulations. Hey, I'm muted to you. And now he can't stop talking. <laughs> She's already sick of him. 
pretty crazy, right? Anyhow, so when you're when you're not working and you're not jacked into virtual reality and you're not being a fake you in a fake world and a fake thing, you're getting your fake food, your fake meat, your insects, your insect milk, and uh, you're <laughs> You're getting your shots, your graphene oxide, you're getting your, you know, it's not a chip. It's enough graphene oxide that it recombines. This is all at Stanford. This is all in their papers. It's all patented and it's all in all of the vaccines. And, but the side effects are ridiculous. So the main thing after the Charles Schwab Center in the micro city is the hospital, okay? And you'll just, you'll work, you'll jack in, and when you collapse, the little, uh, the little electric autopilot <laughs> ambulance will come scoop you up, bring you to the hospital, right? They'll, they'll just get you, just get you back up and going, or not, all right, or not. But they'll scoop you up, they'll bring you here, and they will <laughs> do what it takes to get a few more years out of you, basically. All right. Now, if you if you are like in any chance planning on having a child, it's going to be it's going to be really hard. So the next place they have in this micro city is the uh, the Planned Parenthood kind of place. Right. Reproductive health. That's the that's the third largest building in the area. Right. And. Uh, <laughs> We know what goes on in there. It's not funny at all. We know what goes on in there. They call it reproductive health. But they're not exactly going to be showing women sonograms and, and showing them their babies and everything. They're going to be depopulating in there, right? And don't make me say that they're going to be doing satanic rituals in there. All right, I said it. All right, I said it. Maybe the top floor will just be satanic rituals and the bottom floor will actually be like um, just a semblance of reproductive health. Okay, but I'm going with the former take on the subject. So this is, this is like the upgrade, but we're still, this is the circle. We're just going around the circle of your life. You start at the beginning and you end up here at the end. So this is like, in the beginning, you had the shitty little tiny apartment, and now you've upgraded to maybe a little bigger apartment. And on the first floor, you've got your chemicals, your Starbucks, your uh, your hairdresser. You get the hair dye. You get the, you get more chemicals, right? And you, yeah, you get your chemi- <laughs> get your chemicals down below. You live up top, and this this stuff goes back in deep, okay? And uh. And so, if you can make it this far, if, you, if you're lucky enough to get born through all that, if you're lucky enough to survive all the vaccines, they have the, the they call it the Morning Star on the right, and that's the retirement home. I guess at this point, you're like 40, 50 years old because, you know, you're hurting from all the chemicals and all the crap food. You're, you're, you're not going to be eating organic food. So across the street, right now, they have this like center. Uh, it's an art center. Who knows? They might even turn it into like an antichrist worship center at one point. But, you know, I'm the crazy one because I see that the crappy... I'm trying not to curse, but the piece of crap artwork out front is nothing less than just another 666. That's all they got. I mean, but no one can see it. No one can see it. No one can see 666. It's like, it's not there. Well, then how is that art? It's not art. It's symbolism. It's all signs and symbols, right? So that's the end. And then there's like to the right, there's the the park, the park for the children or whatever. And at the end of the loop, you get to the end of the, the end of the circle, right? Is your, is your Walmart and your Target and your pharmacy. And that's that that t- that takes care of it, right? That takes care of it. You get on the electric, or the you'll own nothing. You'll be happy. It'll be like the lift bicycle. I just saw one today. You'll get the lift electric bike. You'll get the uh, 
and the electric um, <laughs> the electric ambulance and the electric bus that'll just take you around and around and around but really nowhere because actually everybody's just gonna want to be jacked in at this point because they're gonna be wired right into your freaking mind all right truth hurts thank you like share subscribe share this maybe we can change some people all right peace i got vr in 2018 and then i got i i quickly got full body maybe like a couple months later so about two years but in real life uh, i've been dancing since i was 11 years old right forward left back try not to move your upper body forward left Belly dancing in VR is pretty easy because um, the only parts of the body that you need really are your knees and your hips and your arms, which all track pretty well. Six, six, six. Murder, murder, Jesus. Six, six, six. Murder, murder, Jesus. Six, six.